Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can recover your lost password if you haven't got a recovery set up and you can't get into the recovery for whatever reason. So uh, you can see I'm already in my Ubuntu. Um, this works, this should work for um, any um, Linux distribution. Um, and especially if you've got a live um, uh, USB drive with uh, the operating system on it as well. So what you will need for this video is the original USB drive you used to install Linux in the first place. If you haven't got that, uh, follow one of my other videos. That uh, I'll link it in the top of this uh, video here. Um, follow one of my other videos to create a USB drive that you can boot into. Uh, now, obviously, this means you need another computer to be able to create that USB drive, or you can um, purchase one if you haven't got one, or you can ask a friend to create the USB drive and use their computer. But you need, uh, if you can't get into the recovery, you will need a USB drive with Linux on it that you can boot into. Okay, so you can see um, I've got my live USB drive in. Uh, it's given me the option to try or install Ubuntu. Um, we're going to do try or install Ubuntu. Now I'm using a virtual machine for this because it's easier to um, record um, than it is using a mobile phone or something like that. Uh, uh, so uh, you've booted into Ubuntu Live or Mint Live. What you want to do is you just want to go for the try option. So you come out of the installer essentially. Okay, so we're now at the Ubuntu Live desktop. You can see we've got the installer and stuff like that. We're, we're not going to reinstall it because otherwise that will overwrite everything you've got already. You don't need to do that. What we're going to do is we need a, a terminal window. You can press Alt, uh, Control, Alt and T and that will bring up a terminal um, on most systems. But you can see now I've got a terminal open. Uh, so what I want to do first is go to CD forward slash mount and type LS. I've got nothing in there. I'm going to make a directory and I'm going to call it um, fix Ubuntu. Um, you see you need uh, pseudo permissions for this, so sudo like that. Uh, sudo and the two um, exclamation marks called sudo bang bang. Um, it runs the previous command as if it was sudo, so it's the same as doing sudo make the fix Ubuntu. Um, so that's what that's done. So if I do ls now, you see I've got a fix Ubuntu um, drive. Now the, the next thing I need to do is find out which disk my Ubuntu is on. So if I do fdisk minus l, again permission denied, so we sudo bang bang. And that um, went up the screen quite quickly. And you can see there's a dev SDA there, which is, you can see it's a VBox hard disk. So it's, it's um, definitely my hard drive. So it's that one there, it's dev SDA is the one I want. So you're, you're looking for the one that's about the right partition size for um, the drive you're using. If you are using Ubuntu, you don't necessarily have to use the command line for this. Um, you can um, press here and you can type disks if you prefer a graphical view. And you can see um, we've got a hard drive here and you see this is dev SDA. It's important that you actually um, choose the right number as well. So dev SDA 3 is going to be for the uh, Ubuntu actual image. Uh, the first part is going to be your EFI partition. So you can't just do dev SDA, you need dev SDA and the number. So in this case, dev SDA 3. And you see that here, you've got dev SDA 1, which is uh, 2048 It's like one megabyte in size. And you've got a 513 reg, which clearly isn't it. And then you've got this one here that's 30 gigabytes, um, which is clearly a, a much bigger space. And it says it's a Linux file system. Um, so I can be sure that's the one I want to use. So now I know it's dev SDA3. Um, what I want to do is um, I'm going to clear my window and I'm going to type, um, I'm going to sudo it this time, mount dev SDA3 and I'm going to do it to mount 
fix Ubuntu. So if I ls there now, and what I can do now, so I can list the contents of fix Ubuntu. And you see I've got all my folders. That's my Linux on my hard drive. That is not my live image. It's my actual Linux on my hard drive. So if I type clear again here, and, and now what I want to do is I want to change root onto that folder. So uh, permission to live again. One day I'll remember. And now I'm in my Ubuntu partition. So um, what I can do is I can type PASWD and the name of the user I want to change the password for. And I can type in the password. It's telling me it's failed the dictionary test, but don't worry about that. And now my password's successfully updated. So that's um, essentially all you need to do to reset your password. Now you can exit out of that, exit out of that, and we can reboot Ubuntu and we can take the uh, USB drive out. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do it via the terminal. Like that. I'm going to take the disk out. As it's asking me to. And there we go. And here I am at the password screen. I can now type in my password. And I can log into Ubuntu. And there we are. I'm in my Ubuntu and I, I can now go full screen again. Um, and you can tell I'm in my actual um, Ubuntu virtual machine because I can go full screen. I didn't have the full screen in the live version. Uh, so that's the end of the video. Um, you might think, well, is that not a big security flaw if it, all anyone has to do to get into your computer is like boot a live image and then change route onto that image? Well, um, from a live from a Ubuntu machine, um, I can also get to Windows files as well. Um, it's not just Ubuntu. If you really want to make your partition secure, um, encrypt them. Uh, the danger, of course, in, with encryption is that if you forget your password, uh, you really are in a spot of bother because there is um, no easy way of getting that data back if it's encrypted and you forget your password. So that's the end of the video. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.